Hey, it's Paul. Today we're going to look at the Alive UX kit within the professional version of Fuse. Fuse have given us a professional version to play around with, so let's have a look at the Alive drawer. Now, Alive is the name of the professional UX kit that comes along with the Fuse Pro. And the drawer is actually quite neat. I want to show you this because when we click the drawer, it's a different drawer than you'll see in the majority of your applications. Let's start off by writing the drawer. So we have a live drawer. And in order to use the alive namespace, we have to run uno install fuse charting and uno install fuse dot ux kits dot alive. Then inside of our Alive Draw.uno project, we have to have both added the charting and the Alive UX kit to our packages. We then have access to this Alive UX kit. And from within here, we can add the drawer. So inside of the drawer, I'm simply going to add a stack panel, which contains a few menu items. So let's say stack panel. And inside of here, we're going to use the alive.body. Now this is inherited from the text control. So it has things like font, font size, text color, and so on. And we'll give this the value of home because perhaps this is a home page. We'll create some others such as maybe about and contact. So we have three links here. And when we click these links, we can fire a particular click event. So let's write some JavaScript. And inside of our JavaScript, we can export some functions. So we could have a function named navigate to page. And perhaps we'd pass in a page here. And for now, I'm simply going to close the drawer. Because in future videos, we can look at navigation and pages and stuff. Right now, we're simply looking at the drawer inside of Alive. So at the moment, we're going to close the drawer whenever we click this page. So we could directly export this function, or we could simply say module.exports. And of course, export our navigate to page function. We can add then a click event with clicked to navigate to page. And then when the user clicks this, the drawer should close. And in your application, we can navigate the user away. The drawer itself depends on a menu. So we need to state that we have a binding with UX binding equal to menu. So we're essentially saying that the stack panel here is the menu for our drawer. In order to access the drawer inside of our code here to close the drawer, we need to give this drawer a name. So UX name equal to drawer. And if we take a look at our project inside of Fuse Studio by running Fuse Preview, we can then click this fab button at the middle bottom of the screen. If we click that, you'll notice our application sort of goes away to the right, gets smaller, and then we have access to our drawer. This is a very nice animation. And if we click one of these menu items, such as home, about or contact, the drawer closes and we get to our application once again. If we wanted to remove this button at the bottom here, we could simply say hide button is equal to true. And as you can see, we no longer have this button. If you wanted to create your own button, for example, if we had a button with the text of open drawer, and when the button is clicked, we could call a function named open drawer. And we'll just add a little comment to do something like navigate to page close drawer. Here we could say drawer dot open. So if we hide the fab button from within the drawer, we'll no longer see that. So we could then make our custom button inside of the drawer, perhaps aligned in the center. And this button will simply have some text of open drawer and a clicked event of open drawer. And we could quickly comment this one to say do something with page and close drawer. This one can now say open a drawer. And we can say drawer dot open. We'll need to export our function. So if we now click open drawer, we've made our own custom button that opens the drawer. And if we click anywhere, it does indeed close that drawer. 
Now there are different themes that we can use with the Alive UX kit and we should always have, no matter what, a fallback theme using the alive.fallback theme. And this will fall back to a light theme. This is the theme that we see at the moment, but we also have the opportunity for a dark theme. So if we want to use the dark theme, we have to enclose our application inside of a panel like so. So let's take everything outside of the panel and place it inside. And then from within inside of the panel, we can say alive dot dark theme. And if we save the file and rebuild the project, and if we click open drawer now, we see that we get that dark theme instead of that light theme. Whatever theme that you use is up to you. Theming itself is its own video. And as we're inside of View Studio right now, let's have a look at how we could theme our drawer. So if we hit the selection tool, we can select these different things, such as the stack panel or the body elements. If we select the stack panel that contains these alive.body elements, we can select horizontal center, and this will put all the elements inside of the horizontal center. If we take a look then inside of our code, this has been updated to add this alignment of horizontal center, and it just goes to show how powerful this is when we combine both of the methods together. You can use both visual styling, for example, within Fuse Studio and inside of your code. I hope you've enjoyed this introduction to the drawer within the Alive UX kit inside of Fuse Professional. I'm excited to look at the different things within Fuse and of course the Alive drawer. If you're interested in more Fuse videos, then of course hit that subscribe button to stay updated. Let me know what you think of the drawer inside of the comment section below. And until next time, my name's Paul and I'll see you very soon in the next video.